Now what we want to do here is we want to try and add a navigation bar to our page. At the top here we've got this kind of nice little navigation bar with home, trips, privacy policy and contacts. And that's the highlight moves around between them. And the way this is done is we add, first of all we add a, a bulleted list to the page with the words home, trips, privacy policy and contacts. And then we add a style sheet to change the way that bulleted lists work. So in this video that's what we're going to look at doing. First thing we need to do is we need to take our web page, our index page here, and we need to work out what I'm going to put my um, my menu in here, just up where it says welcome to Tour by Travel. So I'm going to first of all just put the words in that I want the user to see. Home, trips, privacy, policy, us, contact, or just contact, I think. Once we've done this, we want to turn this into a, an unordered list. An unordered list is a bulleted list, so we do a UL tag at the start of it. At the end of the list, we do a slash UL tag. Then I'm just going to indent all that so it all lines up nicely and everything in the list is going to get indented one tab stop and then what I need to do is denote the items in the list by using li for list item and slash li for end of list item so I need to show the computer where each list item starts and where it finishes so I'm going to quickly just copy those tags in uh, you'll notice that when I copy them in I don't put the closing tags in it formats them differently so that's trying to help you identify where the problem is and you can see I've missed out my little chevrons here, the chevron brackets, which is why the uh, formatting has gone awry. But there's my little um, list, get my, all my brackets in the right places. And then we can go and have a look at that in the uh, browser to make sure it looks proper, looks um, right. So I'm gonna, I've got all that there, I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to launch it in Chrome. And I'll see, here we are, we should have a bulleted list at the top. So what we're now going to do is we're going to take each of these uh, words at the top of the page and we want to turn these into a hyperlink which takes them to the relevant page to start, which is the start creating the nav, nav bar proper. So we're going to go into the code and then over here we're going to take each of these words here and we're going to surround them with the, um, hyper, uh, the your, uh, HTML tags to turn them into hyperlinks. So if we just look at the bottom of the page here we can see um, a working hyperlink. We start off with ahref equals, then we give it the file name we're going to use, and we follow the, uh, the words or the text that we want highlighted on the screen with a slash a tag. So I'll take home at the top here, I want this to hyperlink back to the index page, so I say a, so um, I'll get on with doing that, and then we'll come back in a moment and look at what we uh, the other change that we need to do. Now the other change we need to do, of course, at the moment I've got four hyperlinks and they're all going to take me to the index page and that's no good. So we need to change the uh, files they point to. So the second one goes to trips, the third one goes to my page on privacy, which is called priv, and my last one goes to my contact page. And now if I save and refresh the browser, I've got a load of uh, links and you notice that number, number three here, privacy is purple, that tells us the page has been visited and if I click on it, we can see the privacy policy complete with spelling mistake in the uh, title at the top there, which I need to correct. So if we go back to my index page, it's now time to take this navigation bar and kind of turn it, uh, take this bulleted list and turn it into a proper navigation bar. And we're going to do that using a style sheet. So this is my um, homepage of my website. And what I've done is I've kind of split things up using spaces just empty lines in the file so we've got one section at the top this is the banner this is the title of the page this could i've got some just plain text welcome to tour by travel i could use an image here if i wanted to we've then got the navigation bar section here and then underneath we have the content section and what i need to do is i need to designate give these areas names so we're going to do this using div tags. This tag here is uh, should not be there right now. I'm just going to remove that. But what I'm going to do at the top here is just make this into the uh, division. A division is simply what we call a container or an area of the page. And this top one is going to be called um, banner. So I'm going to I'll do this by using a div tag. I'd say div, and then I'm going to say afterwards id equals navbar, and then close the bracket, close the quotation marks close the chevron brackets and then underneath here we're going to say um, slash div to end that division and again click on the little minus sign over here 
make all that close up so I know I've got the navigation bar sorted out right. This part here is going to become the uh, content section. So I'm going to call this um, I'm going to call this div content. 